Hi and welcome to day 26 of the Jesus Tree Lenten study. Jesus has been betrayed. Let us read John 13, 21 through 30. After he had said this, Jesus was troubled in spirit and testified, Very truly, I tell you, one of you is going to betray me. His disciples stared at one another, at a loss to know which of them he meant. One of them, the disciple whom Jesus loved, was reclining next to him. Simon Peter motioned to this disciple and said, ask him which one he means. Leaning back against Jesus, he asked him, Lord, who is it? Jesus answered, it is the one to whom I will give this piece of bread when I have dipped it in the dish. Then dipping the piece of bread, he gave it to Judas, the son of Simon. As soon as Judas took the bread, Satan entered into him. So Jesus told him, what you are about to do, do quickly. But no one at the meal understood why Jesus said this to him. Since Judas had charge of the money, some thought Jesus was telling him to buy what was needed for the festival or to give something to the poor. As soon as Judas had taken the bread, he went out and it was night. I wonder whether having his feet washed was excruciating for Judas, who would leave to betray Jesus. Or was it another demonstration to him that this man was not the Messiah he had been waiting for? Despite having spent so much time with the light of the world, despite being treated as an honored guest, offered the dipped bread from Jesus' own hand, he finally turns away, embracing the darkness. We know from Matthew 24, 14 through 16, that he accepted payment of 30 pieces of silver. Was it truly just greed or misplaced religious fervor that led him to hand over to death? someone with whom he had spent so much time. How could he? How could Judas let Jesus wash his feet and then just walk out into the dark? How could Judas accept bread from a man he was about to destroy? How could he just leave having looked into Jesus's eyes, heard Jesus's words, and realized that Jesus knew what he was going to do? All we do know is that Judas let whispers of doubt and opportunity grow in his mind to the extent that the false promises, promises had more appeal than the truth. He was not alone. Jesus predicts that Peter, who made brave promises, would also falter through fear, denying he knew his teacher not once, but three times. As we reflect on this passage, we may be disturbed to remember times when for us, going our own way in the darkness seemed to promise better rewards than continuing in the light. Lent is a time to reflect on our own journey and let God shine light on the times we too have got things wrong. One of the hardest things we ever have to do is to find ways to forgive those who hurt us badly. Another is to be honest with ourselves when we have acted badly towards another. Here we see that Jesus knows exactly what will happen. And still, he treats those around him with great love and compassion. What might we learn about love, forgiveness, and compassion from God today. Here is our ornament today. I know it was supposed to be silver, but I made mine gold to put on my Jesus tree. For your activity today, light a candle and sit with a coin in your hand. While you have that coin in your hand, bring to God any thoughts 
memories or emotion that our story today brought to you. Take your coin, place it next to the candle, and then wash your hands, symbolizing God's forgiveness for past mistakes. Let us pray. Jesus, light of the world, even though you knew those around you would deny and betray you, you still showed great love. Forgive us for the times we turn away. Help us to forgive others when we feel abandoned. And help us to forgive others for the times we know we have preferred our own ways to your way. Amen. Have a good day.